position as, as they've had in this uh, evening to start their drive. 5.57 to go in the first half. Hendersonville leads Lebanon 21 to nothing. And the wide out to the far side is Josh Schmidt. For Hendersonville, Hamilton, the quarterback underneath, and they bring Alexander in motion, and they give it to Wall, coming inside. Wall roaring over the 20, out over the 25 to the 26-yard line, and then will be stood up and pushed back, and they may give him the 27 if they spotted where this guy on this side is going to be, and that's what they're going to do. So it'll turn out to be a seven-yard gain. Kind of an ugly seven-yard gain, but uh, those things tend to add up. Terry Wall, their leading ball carrier coming into tonight. Tommy, tonight, five carries, 64 yards tonight for Wall and one touchdown. Second down and three for Hendersonville. As at the wideout spot is Joe Slough. Alexander in motion down the lane, and here comes that big fullback again. Roaring up over the 30. It's Lou Allen with the 31 all the way out to the 33, nearly the 34-yard line. Got the first down by a big majority. 5.09 to play on the scoreboard first half. 21 to nothing, Hendersonville. And the Blue Devils need to try to keep them out or keep any more off the board here in the first half. Easter and Ligon combine on the tackle for the Blue Devils. And it'll be first and ten. Wide out to the near side is John Morgan. Hamilton brings walls in motion and gives it to the fullback, and Lebanon played it well, about a yard and no more. Well, he may have not gotten a yard. He may have got back to the line of scrimmage in about a half yard. Lebanon played that better than they have all night as they bring the action to the near side and then come with the football with the fullback up the middle second down nine looking with uh, the field glasses across the way Matt Lasseter on the bench helmet off and Matt may have been uh, had his cage rattled a little bit on that contact hand off to El to Alexander far side Lebanon's got him at the 35 and he'll fall forward to the 36 maybe the 37 yard line and again it's going to bring up third and long as it will be Third and seven, they have to go past the 44 for the first down, or to the 44 for the first down. In that the, secondary for Lebanon, Ross Coggins, also back there for the Blue Devils, Andre Logue and Chris Britton. Third and seven for the Hendersonville Commandos. Man in motion far side, back to throw is Hamilton. Firing over the middle, got a man wide open at the 49 to the 50, coming to the near side, breaks a tackle to the 40. Loose football, but it's going to squirt out of bounds before Lebanon can get their hands on it. And it will go out of bounds inside the Lebanon 35, all the way down to the 33-yard line, where it will be first and 10 as Hamilton goes to Josh Schmidt, coming across the middle, and he was so wide open. They cleared him out uh, down the sideline, and he came across, made the reception, Schmidt. Terry Stanford, pretty nice pass and catch for the Commandos. Tommy, third and seven for Hendersonville. They pick up 31 on the pass to Schmidt, down to the 11 and 32. Nose of the football at the Blue Double 32-yard line. First and 10, 325 remaining in the first half. 21 to nothing. Hendersonville wants more. The Hamilton going to keep it. They give it to the fullback, and he blasts over the 30, all the way down over the 27, near the 26, maybe the 25-yard line. He's going to get eight on the carry. Lebanon just has not been physical at the point of attack a good part of this evening. Hendersonville's line coming off the football, making contact on those Blue Devil defenders and pushing them back and getting a good margin right at the line of scrimmage. Second down and three after the seven-yard gain. Hendersonville sets him down. Hand off again up the middle to the big fullback. This time Lebanon hits him. At the 25, Blue Devils come up with a football, but they're going to say he was down. They give him the 26-yard line, so there's no gain on the play that time by Lou Allen. You look back uh, earlier in this football season, Matt Lasseter had the concussion against Hunter's Lane and had to miss the, uh, gosh, I think the next couple of weeks with that concussion. And if Matt took a shot to the head, you know the medical staff is going to be very careful about putting him back into the football game. Well, he got up really slow. I didn't see where he got hit, Tommy, but he did get up slow. Hand off to Alexander. Going to the far side. Alexander hit and stopped, and I believe shy of the first down, Mark. 
flag now going to fly late. And this is going to be Lebanon clapping. If, if this is personal foul against Hendersonville, it is really going to be big for the Blue Devils as he jammed that football down near the stick. I don't think he picked up the first down. Here's unsportsmanlike conduct against Hendersonville, so it will be a big 15-yarder. Tommy, big break. John, up to you. Lasseter has finally gotten up off the bench and walking around a little bit. Adam Greer has been uh, pacing around down there. They both got cobwebs in their head. Matt's making his way back over to the coaching staff now, but this is the first time he's been off the bench since that big collision, the big uh, cutback block that uh, both him and Greer paid desperately for. Terry, first penalty against uh, the Commandos tonight. Tom, actually, this is going to be their fifth penalty of oh, the night. First one I remember. <laughs> they're they're going to measure first and see if it's a first down, which it appears to be. And then it looks like a dead ball foul. We're probably going to penalize after the first down. So it would be first and okay, very long, but first and 25. Since the penalty where the flag was thrown after the play was thrown dead, Henderson throws so the spot the will be at the 30. 4, 38, 39 yard line of Lebanon. 18 yard penalty? Well, it's going to be also going to be first and 10. And they still don't have the chains set to the far side, but Hamilton is set. The chains are still not. Man in motion is Alexander. And Hamilton rolling to the near side looking for somebody to throw to. Fires long. Man there was. Has got it to the 10 to the 5. Touchdown. Lebanon. Walls making a great catch, sprinting across the five-yard line, hauled it in, and goes in for the score. They brought him on the backside post route. They ran the quarterback on the bootleg to the right. Wall lined up at wide receiver on the left side and came back on the post route, and he beats Coggins to the end zone for the touchdown. John, you've got the call of this PAT attempt. Drop, drop Coggins, just another step away from maybe tipping that pass, but uh, his effort... Not good enough to keep him from scoring. Once again, number 14, Jeremy Willis in to attempt the point after. The snap is back. The kick is up. It hits the left goal post. This kid's got a leg, but his accuracy tonight is off. That's the second point after he has missed. 145 to go in the first half. Hendersonville 27, the Blue Devils nothing. This sideline report is brought to you by Ron's Family Hair Design. They're pleased to support Lebanon High School and Blue Devil Athletics. For all your hair care needs, stop by Ron's located on North Cumberland in Lebanon across from Save-A-Lot. We'll take it back to the station for this 30-second commercial break. Hendersonville scoring their fourth touchdown of the first half. Kelly Hamilton to Justin Wall, a 38-yard touchdown pass. The extra point hit the upright. So with 145 left in the half, it's now Hendersonville 27, 11-0. Blue Doubles will have Andre Logue at the goal line to return this kickoff. And now Trip Thomas goes back. He was in the front line, and he'll go back inside the 30 now. As getting ready to kick is Jeremy Willis. And here is Willis's kick, long and deep, and Logue's going to get this one in the end zone, and this one will come out to the 20. They'll bring it out to the 20. The way they've been hitting tonight, I don't know if I'd been so disappointed on that uh, touchback. Logue looked very disappointed he didn't get to run it back, but the way Hendersonville's special teams guys are um, plowing us through tonight, that might have been the safest way to handle that kick return. A minute 45 to go in the first half. Lebanon's got it first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Blue Devils will work. First and 10 at their own 20. 145 remaining in the opening half, and they trail 27 to nothing. I'm not actually a full-time. handoff, second man through. Backer trying to slide outside. Got a little yardage. Crosses the 20 out over the 21 to the 22-yard line. Brian Backer will pick up two. He hit it in there. There was nothing there, and Backer bounced off and slid outside and picks up two. 5'9", 183-pound junior, Brian Bocker. In there at fullback for Lebanon, Lanning goes out of the game, and Stevens comes in with a play from Lebanon's offensive coordinator, Coach Williams, Coach Steve Williams. Bocker gets two, and it's second down and eight. Blue Devils from their own 22. 
draw play up the middle with the fullback to Bocker. Again, that fool, nobody gets nothing. Got to the line of scrimmage and then is shoved back. It'll be third down and eight from that point. And that play didn't fool many folks. Hendersonville's middle of the line stayed at home, and they got a lot of beef in there, and they just jammed that up, and there was nowhere to run. Third down seven. They give him about a half yard on the carry. Chase landing in at the wide out to the near side. Hand off to the near side is Ross and Ross flags fly and Ross is going to punch it over the 25 near the 26 yard line. But check a holding call probably on Lebanon. Let's see. Lebanon came with a slice trap. Pull the tackle and try to kick. Let Pickett get up inside that block and turn it against the grain, but the flag will go against Lebanon, a hold. It has been declined, so the Blue Devils find themselves now in a fourth down situation. Hendersonville has taken a timeout. The Commandos want to try to stick another one on the scoreboard before the end of the first half. Tell you what, we're going to keep it right here as we prepare to for this Lebanon punt. And, and don't be surprised if Hendersonville lines up 11 people or 10 people at the line of scrimmage and comes after this one. 31 seconds to go in the first half. The Commandos on top, 27 to nothing. They took the timeout in a, an attempt to make Lebanon punt so Lebanon wouldn't have a chance to run the clock out on fourth down. They have got some of their first line players bunched along the line of scrimmage, including Justin Wall, tremendous speed and a very talented back. He is near the line of scrimmage, and if there is going to be a block attempt against this Bubba Ligon punt, don't be surprised to see if Wall perhaps be the key man in this punt block well, attempt. They're, they're coming after it. Ligon will stand at his own nine-yard line. Wall is back at his own 39. Here's a snap, a good one. Ligon's got time. Gets it out of there. Pretty good kick, wobbly but high. Going to hit at the 40, take 11 and bounce over the 45, inside the 40, down to the 36-yard line of Hendersonville, and that with the roll turns out to be a pretty good kick by Lebanon. Gets him out of the hole all the way back to the Hendersonville 37-yard line. It took 11 seconds for that play to transpire. Terry Stafford, what about the yardage? With the roll, the ball rolling dead at the Hendersonville 37. The kick by Ligon, good for 38 yards. Hendersonville going to start just outside their 36 with 20 seconds left in the first half. If they get one before the half, they'll earn it. It won't be a cheap one by way of the block kick. Well, that's true. But this guy's got an arm, Kelly Hamilton, and he's got receivers. Hamilton brings Wall in motion across the action, and Hamilton goes back to throw. Got lots of time. Now swings it out to Wall at the 35 to the 40. Wall breaks the tackle, 45, 50, 45, 40, and going to be run out of bounds with 10 seconds left to play. He just stepped out of bounds at the Lebanon 39-yard line. They and Walls is making the Blue Devils look silly trying to tackle him. They brought Walls across the formation in that jet sweep kind of look. The quarterback Hamilton on the half roll looking, looking, looking for a receiver and then dumped it to Wall kind of as a uh, safety valve receiver and he turned it into a big play. First and 10 at the Lebanon 39. They battle the clock now more than anything. 10 seconds left only on the clock. Hamilton straight drop back wants to throw. Firing to the near side, flags are down, and he did not get out of bounds with four seconds to play, but hang on, there is a penalty on the play, and what it's going to be, we'll wait and see. Got I Hendersonville think, for holding. I think that's going to be the call. And it's going to be holding against Hendersonville. John, what do you got for us? That's going to be against the That's going to be against the Hendersonville receiver, Ryan Alexander. Actually, what he did. He held the D-back, uh, number 19 for the Blue Devils. That's the sophomore, and Andre Logue, and uh, held him, kept him from uh, 